Well, before Greg's sister Claire died, she wrote a really popular blog, it was brilliant, which Greg's finished in her honour. It's now been published as a book. It's called Not That Kind of Love, and Greg joins me now. This is a fantastic book. It really, really is. And for both Rachel and for your Claire, um, writing about what they were going through helped so many people. Do you think it helped Claire as well? I think it did very much. I think one of the things that you have to realise when you're going through... Uh, an illness like this or caring for someone yeah. going through an illness like this is that you spend most of your time dealing with other people's neurosis because it brings up all that that's true yeah we're all gonna die oh my god there's a friend of mine dying or looking mm. after um and i think to just try and be and, and as and as rachel and the, and the girls did in their in their podcast and, and as we try to do in the blog just be clear because that's loving Mm. We always used to think, don't talk about it. That's an act of kindness. That's actually cruel, yeah. not talking about it. We have to try and be as open and as kind and as loving as possible. It was really interesting reading this book and, and obviously the, the, the blog too. You really hear her voice. Yeah. You know, I'd never met her, but yeah. I feel as if I know yeah. her by, yeah. by reading this. And obviously when she got really, really sick, um, you, you, did it, you did it for her. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she started the blog... At, as a way of just letting everyone know what was going on so she didn't have to spend all her time fielding texts and phone calls and Facebook and everything else. That makes perfect sense. Back in 2013, and then her cancer came back as, as bone cancer, um, which you don't get better from. Uh, and when she became too ill, I took over the writing, mm. again, because I spent the last three months of her life living with her yeah. in, in her flat, and as a way of just me not having to field texts and phone calls sure. and emails. So this is what's going on, this is how she is, da, da, da. Mm. And then because I was spending 22 hours a day on my own, she was asleep most of the mm. time, all I could do was wait for the bell to ring. There was a little bell push by her bed and I had the other end wherever I was. So of course you spend your time thinking about what's going on with her, what's going on with you, life, death, everything else. And I would write the blog at the end of every day just the thoughts I'd had during the day as well as how Claire was and it became something else and became something actually that that that, that I sort of longed for at the end of every day. Do you know what it's it's really <clears throat> comforting to read that I, yeah. I know I, I know obviously you've lost her she's dead mm -hmm. and there's but she kind of lives on. Thank you for saying this. dead. Well, dead. You said lost to start. I know, with. but it, but it's right. We have to. <laughs> yeah, go, we have, we to, have say to get that. the words right. You, you do have to get the, the words right, otherwise it it's very important to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but you were so very close. Did that yeah. make it so? I mean, obviously, when somebody dies, it's it's hideous. But because you were so close and because you loved each other so very much, did it make it all the more worse when she died? I I was eighteen months younger than her. I'd never known life without her. Yeah. We'd spent every Christmas together. We spent most holidays together, even as we got older. Um, she could not do that kind of love. She was a single woman, mm. always. Um, I was always with someone, and when I was kicked out of every relationship, I'd move back in with my sis and we'd holiday together. So we were, we were fantastically close. And when she became very ill, she didn't want anyone else around mm. at all, just me. And I was, Gosh, so, what a privilege. I was so fortunate that I'm self-employed and yeah, yeah, my yeah. family allowed me to extricate myself from one household and, and yeah. cement myself in with, with my sis for the last sort of 10, 12 Gosh, weeks. What an amazing thing to, to, to be there with her yeah. during all that time. And of course, very much part of the family. I know that, that your wife Emma, very close. Because mm -hmm. they went out to India, didn't they? They did. They, they did. They did. And you said that when she came back, you'd never seen your sister look happier or more beautiful. Never saw her look more beautiful. That's after, amazing. After the, the, the time they spent in this um, Ayurvedic clinic. And literally the day after that, she went to bed and never got up again. Gosh. That's extraordinary, isn't yeah. it? And very close to your children as well, yeah. to your daughter, yeah. to your son. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she was, she's made a big, big impact on so many people's well, lives. Well, we were very fortunate to have a setup which people used to have in the olden days, the extended family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mother-in-law, Em's mum, Phyllida, <laughs> lives over the road. Our son, so close. Cindy, lives up the road. My sister lived down the road. Best friends all around. That's great. And it's how people were always living. Mm. It's, how, it's how kids were brought up and it's how people died. People died within a community. Yeah. We all saw, as we see the births and the, and the childhoods, mm. we saw the aged 
and the dying. We don't get that. And now. we don't we do don't, that. And it's really sad anymore. that we don't. And 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 that's why we have the fear about it because we don't see it. We don't witness people dying. Mm. Uh, it's it's a it's an extraordinary privilege, along with the fact that it's obviously a, a huge mm. trauma. But it's a privilege more than anything else. It's a remarkable book. It, it really is. And and like I say, I can and I love the photograph of the two of you on the front. It's the I cutest know, thing I've ever look seen. At that. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's gonna be my new publicity photo. Oh, you've never looked more handsome. Look at those chuggy legs. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? She just looks great. She just looks full of fun and mischief and Yeah, nonsense. and where are my pants? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But also you two, you laughed a lot, didn't you? It, yeah. You laughed yeah. a I lot. Mean, one of the great things about this is, is, is there's a lot of really good gags. Yes. We did laugh a lot. You have to laugh at it. We know humour is based on misfortune. The banana Thank skin you. gag. Yes. We laugh at. And, and you have to be... Well, not you have to, but it's very important. Mm. to be able to laugh yeah i agree at all of this i agree it's a great book not that kind of love out now out today out in now, paperback out today yeah. Yay. by claire and greg wise thank you so much thank for coming in it's so good to see you thank you